Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Coming to you today from Hamvention 2022, and I'm here with Jim from Lido Mounts. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Jim, thanks for taking the time this morning to uh, show us around. And I wanna know more about Lido mounts and how I might utilize something like this in the Wrangler or uh, maybe in my wife's Jeep Liberty if I ever talk her into letting me put a radio in there. All right, well, Jason, thanks for getting up early and meeting with us at Hamvention 2022. We appreciate it. Um, Lido radio products was, uh, is designed um, around making mounting solutions with no holes. So you don't have to basically drill a hole in your vehicle. Okay. So we have a lot of solutions uh, that we've designed so you don't have to drill a hole in your vehicle. But we do have mounts. If you do want to drill it down, you can do that with those mounts as well. But today at Hamvention, we're showing our new LMAX product. Okay. And the LMAX uh, we've created for our customers that we're putting on lots of multiple devices onto our lighter duty seatbelt mount, and it's wobbling all over the place. Okay. So we created the LMAX, which will hold up to eight and a half pounds of devices. So, and you can mount all kinds of stuff on it, but the basic LMAX looks like this. This is the basic LMAX. All right. But the cool thing about the LMAX is it's got a quick release base. So you can have this in your vehicle. And let's suppose your wife says, you know, I don't want your radios in my car anymore. Right. So you just take this, you release the base, and you can take the whole thing out. Now that is slick. Yeah. Now, and the base part, does that mount under like uh, one of the seat bolts? Right. That holds the seat into the car? <laughs> right. So uh, before you would purchase this, you want to make sure you can see the seat bolt and you can get it out. Okay. The problem with a lot of seat bolts today is it's not a bolt anymore. It's a rivet or it's a strange uh, bolt that's, that's holding the seat down. Uh, so we want to make sure before you purchase any of our seat bolt mounts that you can see the bolt and actually get it up. But your Jeeps usually have an exposed seat bolt, not a problem. Yeah, I know the Wrangler does. I'll have to look at my Liberty or my wife's Liberty and see uh, what, if I can get access to that. Right, right. And another thing that you can do is you can buy, we, we sell the, the uh, bases separately. So you can put them in each vehicle so you can move this from vehicle to vehicle. That's pretty sharp. Yeah, and then we also like if you want to, so if you want to completely cut out the vibration, we sell a brace as well. It's okay. an optional brace and it will ex extend out uh, to fit the vehicle. You can bolt it down or you can just have the Velcro that will stick to the, the carpet. Okay. Most cheap users are going to bolt it down. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And I don't know if like Velcro so. would hold up once, <laughs> no, I, once I leave the pavement, yeah. so it's probably uh, going to have to be bolted down. Yeah, probably not. And so the cool thing about Lido also is we have specific radio adapters for most amateur radios that are on the market today. Okay. Um, and we've got those over there if you want to take a look. Yeah, absolutely. Let's jump over there and take a quick right. peek. Okay, so these are the mounts that you've got for all the various radios, right? right. That's okay, correct. can you kind of walk me through and show me some of these solutions? <laughs> yeah, Jason. So. Um, for uh, the different radio manufacturers, it would be nice if they all had a standard, but they don't. So, uh, for example, ICOM um, on their new 705 or their R7, or IC7100 actually uses a quarter 20 in the back of the, it's just in the control head. You don't need a separation kit or anything. It's just got a hole that's threaded for a quarter 20. Okay. And so in that case, for our mounts, depending on the mount you get, we've got all kinds of quarter 20 adapters that will go on any of our mounts. Okay. Okay. So Yesu decided instead of using a quarter 20, that they would use a five millimeter uh, oh, screw <laughs> on their <laughs> FTM series of radios. So that would be your FTM 100, 200, I think the 200 is the new one, 300, 400, uh, the FTM 6000, and also the FT891. Those control heads have a hole in the back of them that's threaded. And that, that uh, thread they use is a five millimeter screw or stud. And so you can see we've got <laughs> separate ones, although they look alike here. Right. On, uh, this is a quarter 20, and this is a five millimeter. Okay. So we have those available. Well, it's good that you know the difference because I would not have known <laughs> that. I would just assume that it would have been an industry standard, right. uh, much like the photography industry is all quarter 20. No, no. I spent 30 <laughs> years, I've been in this business for 30 years, and I probably know more about adapting, attaching to radios than anybody should ever know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, and... Uh, for example, like Kenwood or the Anytones or the TYTs that are out there, all the small mobiles, those take a four-hole amps plate. And what we do is we attach to the remote head bracket. So your TYT radios with a remote control uh, or the remote head comes with a remote con remote head bracket. Okay. And that bracket will attach to a thing called, we call, we call it a four-hole amps plate, which looks like this. You'll see four holes. 
in these plates. Okay. And that's a standard. It's a four-hole amps. And okay. a lot of your GMRS radios, their, their, uh, their brackets are going to have a four-hole amp standard. So on the mounting brackets or their remote control heads, like I think it's the KG-1000 Wushan, it'll have a remote head bracket that has a four-hole amp standard on it that will bolt right onto uh, any of our mounts. Okay, perfect. Now, how does that tie in with the plates that I'm seeing here? Right, so what we run with a lot of our customers is they want to mount multi-devices on these mounts. So let's suppose you have a Jeep and you want to mount, you got your radio, but where are you going to put your cell phone? So with this multi-device, multi you can have the cell phone and the radio all on one, all on one mount. Okay, nice. So you make, uh, I'm taking it, the cell phone mounts here, and then uh, this is for a tablet? That's correct, yeah. Outstanding. Yeah, so you could have the tablet mount, the cell phone mount, and this mount is called our EXP2 mount, and it's designed to accept a belt clip. So any of your devices that have a belt clip, any of your HTs or portables that have a belt clip on them, right. they would use our EXP2, and the belt clip will slide right down into the top. Oh, okay, cool. The cool thing about this also, if you turn it around, it's got a tab in it, you'll see, and it'll accept a button mount from your speaker microphones. So it's kind of double duty. It'll do a, it'll hold a, a microphone as well as a HT. That's pretty sharp. So yeah. one device that does two different things. That's right. Outstanding. That's right. We have a ton of mounts that are, that are on the market today, um, and we have adapters for all of those mounts, um, and they're all on our website. Okay, so Jim, if people want to know more about the Lido mounts and what you offer for their particular radio, where would they go to find out more information? Uh, you can go to www.lidoradio.com. Lidoradio.com. And guys, I'll leave a link for that down in the description below and probably pin that as a first comment. All right. Good morning from uh, Dayton Hamvention. All right. Jim, thank you so much All for right. taking Thanks the time. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, morning. Jason. Have Appreciate a great day. It, All right. Thank you very much.